Hello everyone, and welcome back to Wolf Quest. Um, to start right with it, we have to name the pups, and I have thought of the perfect names. Which, I don't know why I didn't think about it sooner. So last time, I was talking about how I wanted to name one Kenai from Brother Bear, since their dad is named Koda, also from Brother Bear. And then, but in Brother Bear, there are actually three brothers. And so I might as well just name all three after the brothers, and I think it would be so stinking cute. And I love all the names. Um, and then I don't know which one is the oldest. I guess it would be... Which one would be the oldest? It would be the one 1819, because they were born first, I'm guessing. But then they're also the smallest. So should I go... You know what? I'm going to do it a little differently, though. I, I don't... I'm pretty sure 1819 was like the firstborn, I guess. But I'm gonna go off their sizes instead while naming them. So going off that, you have, you know, the biggest one, the oldest, is gonna be Sitka. And then you have the middle brother is Denahi. And then you have the smallest, the little runt, Kenai. I think I spelled Kenai right. I'll have to check that later. And so there we go. We have all three brothers. I just really hope I'm not like doing a little prophecy because in Brother Bear, Sitka does die. So I'm really hoping it doesn't end up that way in, in this one. But there we go. We have all three pups named now. And it should be pretty easy, I think, keeping them, you know, alive, I feel like, because there's so, there's so few. There's only three of them. I feel like it should be so easy. And they're so tired. They're not even running around or anything. That's so weird. Okay. I think I see, like, a mule deer or something. I'm gonna try to make sure Nikita stays. Nikita, you need to stay with the pups. She sent them into the den. Go back. There you go. Okay, I sent her back. I see it up here. I've been, like, watching it. And, I don't know, I kind of just want to take it down. If I can. Oh, look, there's another one. Maybe I can catch that one off guard more. Oh, I can. <gasps> oh my gosh, these are corn. What? Oh, and here's some elk. Okay. <laughs> We just hunted, like, three different things, but whatever works, okay? I'm probably gonna want Nikita for this hunt, though. It's a little tougher than, than Mule Deer. Okay. She should be coming. Yeah, okay. So we'll go ahead and, like, try to get them going flush them out a little bit she's gonna come up right behind them actually give him a little confident tail she's gonna come up right through oh my gosh and so am i apparently that is not what i meant to do okay and then oh wow don't get hit okay <laughs> this herd doesn't even know where it's going i hope the pups are in the den because we are driving them straight that way and I'm just gonna go for a bite, like, immediately, because it's so close to the den. And this one just happened to be really weak! We are getting so lucky with this! Okay, come on. We've got this. Come on, get it hidden. I hardly have any stamina! Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's up. It's running. What? I thought we were done with this. Okay, there. <laughs> that was like the quickest hunt I think I've ever done. And we didn't even really need food, but it's so lucky. That was awesome. And who am I kidding? You basically always need food. And then our territory is honestly pretty good. It, we could, like, go and mark a couple. 
So I think maybe what I'm gonna try to do is go like on the outskirts of our territory and just make sure we don't have any intruders coming in. But first I'm gonna, okay, here's the elk. Hold on, we don't need any more of you right now. Or should I just take down another? Should I take down another? No, let's not be, ooh, greedy. Okay, but I don't wanna get hit either. They were so close to the den, that's so awesome. Although that elk carcass probably won't last long, to be honest. Which is why I grabbed a little piece of meat. I'll put it up on this rock. I don't think Nikita can get to it. You know, that's gonna be so awesome. If I wanna, like, save prey or something, I can just put it on the rock. Because I don't think Nikita will, like, get up there and get it. Oh, that would be so cool. I've never thought about doing that before. I'll have to test that out later whenever the pups are big enough to, like, actually eat. And we have, um... And we have like ungulates and stuff. And they're all actually pretty fully fed. We'll go ahead and feed Sitka, even though he's the biggest. Like you need it. He and I was whining a little bit though. And they're so like, so tiny and slow. They're not even like running around yet. I wonder when they start getting that way. Oh and, they can oh, and this is so good because now, because it's such a small litter, all three can like eat from like one, you know, throw up pile <laughs> or whatever it's called. One regurgitated meat. And so I don't have to do like multiple piles or anything like that. And then when we later, whenever we get like ungulates, surely three of them could eat from one. So it's going to be so much easier to feed them. It's been a long time since I've had like such a small litter. And I guess they're deciding to go back in the den. Yeah, except Kenai. Kenai just wants to wander off. Oh, no. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, he was trying to lay down. I was going to pick him up. Okay, well, I guess I'll leave Nikita here. Because I don't really need her with me. Let's just... You go back. Did she hear that or no? I think she did. No, she did not. Well, you know what? She, I think she sent Kenai in the den, though. We'll just take her with us. She really wants to go. Make sure Kenai goes in, though. Okay. So, what we're gonna do is... We're gonna head, like, straight down. And kind of follow our territory along. And luckily, the wind is in our favor. And we're gonna make sure there's no stranger wolves in our territory. We have such a large territory. That I'm sure the other packs are definitely wanting some of our some of our land. I'm getting a lot of dispersals, but dispersals, I've been thinking about it a lot more, and I don't think they're that big of an issue. What is that? What is, what is this? Is this something laying down? No, that's a rock. I get so confused sometimes. <laughs> but dispersals, since they're not actually trying to take over territory, then, you know, they're just kind of like trying to pass through a bit. So I don't think I'd go and like, you know, I might give them, like, a little nip or something. Especially if they're after, like, prey. Because that is my elk herds in my territory. But, ooh, I'm at the border. Well, I guess we ain't got to worry about them after all. But I don't think I need to, like, be very vigilant in, like, chasing them all the way out or anything. Like, I probably would stranger wolves. Like, from, uh, from the pack wolves. Now, if they're hunting, that definitely changes things. They're definitely out of my area, though. I think, anyway. Yeah, because it's then it starts going this way. So, I guess if you need, like, to have a flooded den... Nope, what is this? These are wolves. These are definitely wolves. Who are they? 
Who are these guys? Dispersals? They're definitely dispersals. We're gonna drive them out. Not out of the territory. Just into this river, just to be fun. <laughs> because it's so flooded. Oh well. They can practically walk almost through it. Like I said, they're dispersals. I'm not gonna be, you know, too hard on them. It's whatever. I wonder... So this was... Who was this? Buffalo... Buffalo Fork, I think. Because one of them... I can't hardly see them. Okay, one was 801. Yeah, it was Buffalo Fork. I haven't named anybody yet. Oh my gosh, two of Coyote Creek have died. That's so sad. So I haven't named anybody yet. I kind of want to though. So we got we actually found a pack leader, the the alpha female. Um I don't even know what to name them. I'm just gonna pick like random names to be honest. Just pick Starlight. I don't even know what she looks like, honestly. And then because last time I was like, you know. I don't know, just like subordinate, you know, year three or whatever. I don't know. So this time I wanted to try out like actual names. I'll probably wait till I like see these guys again though before I name them. And then fish, and then we just came across Buffalo Fork. So we have the three brothers. What should we name them? Let's see. Name one moss. I'll just name them like random stuff. Bear. And then just do coyote. <laughs> I'm not trying to think too hard because it's just like, I don't know. Oh, look, there's bear. <laughs> I'm just, uh, I'm just trying to pick like some names. So they have actual names this time, you know, like any other wolf, except mainly I think the wolves really just have like numbers and stuff most of the time. Only like really special ones get names, but either way, as I was saying before we came across those guys, um, I guess you'd have to have like a den like super close to the water and like only during this season or something to get it flooded. Oh, that poor fox is struggling so bad. He can't even go. But I've never had a flooded den and maybe that's just because I don't choose them well enough to actually have a flooded den. Oh look, here's the bear box. Honestly, I haven't noticed much flooding, like, at all. We're gonna pee on it to renew the marker. Ta-da! And then, I still don't know what that is. And then we're, like, at the edge of our territory now. I'm not getting any scents from pack wolves, which is good. I didn't figure there would be, like, any coming in or anything like that because our marker has like not gone down at all or our hexes rather what is this is this pronghorn i think it is we're not hunting pronghorn i don't want to be too greedy either we're gonna go ahead and probably head back to our pups i don't want to be gone too long we'll head back and then we can go to sleep. And then after that, everything is gonna change. Cause we haven't even slept yet since the pups came out. And Coda definitely is getting rather tired. I feel like we're doing so good so far, but we've only just had the pups come out. So that can change in an instant. I'm just really hoping it doesn't. Although that would make it rather boring. It's, it's kind of interesting to have like a lot of stuff happen. I just don't want any of the pups to, you know, die. Like, last time we lost Bear and Mouse, Coda's brother and sister. And that, honestly, especially Bear, just made me feel so bad. Because sickness, you know, I couldn't really help. Bear, though, it was stupid freaking coyotes. Oh my god. I really hated that. And I am definitely not letting it happen this time. As much as I can not let it happen.
you know, while I'm over here, I think I'm just gonna stop by real quick and grab another piece of meat because I know it's not very far. And then that way I can put it back at the den and everything because predators, as soon as um, we go to sleep, they're gonna be all over this carcass and it's not gonna last very long. And I wanna have like as much meat as possible. There's already a bunch of things over there. I think, wh what is that, just birds? Oh my God, that's a lot of crows. Oh no, it's a cougar. Well, did we really need the meat? Can you, can you just share a little bit? No, it does not want to, okay. Well, I don't wanna get hurt, especially since we might have to be fighting off pack wolves when we wake up, so we don't want that. What is this, a little hair? Well, I'll take that instead. It's about the same as like a little piece of meat. Wow, he was like shaking that thing. <laughs> it's not exactly the same. I think a, a you know, little meat slice, whatever it's called. What is that called? A little, oh, chunk of meat, I think is what they call it. Um, I think that has more than a hair, but it's close enough. Where's our den? There it is. And who's been eating on this? It's halfway gone, probably the birds. That's okay. Now we have a hair carcass. Whoa, sir, calm down. All right, let's just go ahead and go to sleep and see how everything has changed. We'll go ahead and sleep another time. She's trying to go after that. Look, but she can't get up there. Is she going to be stuck like that the whole time I'm sleeping? Yes, she is. Now she's bobbing up and down. Okay. <laughs> well, at least she can't get the meat. See, this is exactly why I did it. What is going on here? Nikita, stop. Just leave it. Leave it. You don't need that. That's supposed to be about the pups. Apparently, they don't have like the jumping feature. And then now she'll, she'll stop because I ate it all. I'm sorry, but I know her. And I can't even get down. Where are you going, Sitka? And she will just take it all. And now she's going off. She's not even that hungry. Well, she might be a little hungry, actually. We just slept a while. No, she's at 82%. Where are you going? Where is she even going? And she's not even going to the carcass. Go to the carcass if you're that hungry. This is so weird. I've never had a mate do this. She's acting so weird. Oh my gosh. And our territory is like all types of messed up right now in so many weird spots. But, oh yeah, see, I think Coyote Creek definitely are trying to take that hex, being that it's at 23%. But I don't think that they've really been in, like, I don't think anybody is really taking the Outer Territory, because it's about the same as it was yesterday. So that's good, that's a good thing. But we are going to have to go fix that 23% one, which is such a long way to travel. I guess I'll wait for Nikita to get back. Oh, now they're starting to run around because they're slightly bigger, but you can run around on this side of the den where I can keep an eye on you better. Okay. And also they need to eat more. Why are they not eating? I guess Kenai's taking it all. Good for him. He's the smallest pup. He needs it, but they also need to eat too because they're still puppies. He wants to play. He is so stinking cute. Oh! Oh, he fell! I love it when they do that. <laughs> it's not because I'm like mean or anything. It's just because it's really, really cute. And I think you can like start play or something where they like chase you or do you chase them? 
it looks like I'm kind of chasing him. Let's 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 not go too far though. That's a bit far, especially when you're this small. Maybe when you're a bit older. And I really am watching everything right now because I know that she is not with me, Nikita. And so I'm so worried about predators right now. I really am. And I just want to keep them super duper close to the den just in case something happens. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I think so far we're pretty good though. I don't know where the heck is she even going. She's not even- I don't know where she's going. She's just off doing her own thing, I guess. I don't even know. Hold on, Sitka. Hold on. What about predators? Don't forget. I kind of want to send them into the den because I'm so worried right now. I'm having flashbacks. From the last litter with with mist and I don't like it. Whoa, I'm going too fast. Too fast. Oh my god, Denai, he has a little stick. That is so cute. And Sika, I swear to god is the bane of my existence right now. What the heck is he doing? Every time I set him down, he goes off running. Why can't you be like your brothers? You're causing so much trouble right now. Really, Denahi? They're not going far. They're just so little though. I don't know. I feel like these guys are so much smaller than usual. I'm sure they're not, but I feel like they are. I love Kenai though. He is like perfectly a copy of of Koda, almost. There, it's pretty close. It's really cute though. Oh, Dana, he wants to chase. Oh, and he fell. <laughs> was he the one that? No, that was Kenai that fell last time. I wonder if some of them are like more clumsy than others. Or maybe it's just because they're puppies. I'm pretty sure that's why. Oh, he's got a little stick in his mouth. My bad. Okay, now she's going like everywhere else. I don't even know where she's going. Either way... I guess I'll leave this episode off here before it gets too long and Nikita is just not coming back right now. I could call her back, but you know, she is off doing her own thing. So I'm just gonna like, I don't know, let her, I guess. Like, <laughs> I mean, who am I to like call her back for no reason, really? So I'll leave this episode off here and on the next one, we can have Nikita come back. Where is Sitka? Where is Sitka? Where is Sitka? Where is he? Where is, oh, there he is. He's hiding in grass. Jesus, don't scare me. Okay, stop doing that. And then we can go out and check that 23% hex and hopefully fight off some stranger wolves from our territory. Especially Coyote Creek. I do not like them this time around. I really don't. But alright guys, I will see you guys on the next one.